So, Philip, um, I just read some, uh, I didn't have so much time in the morning, but I read some reviews. People like the movie. And you know, the subject is not so easy because it's like, it's about poetry, it's about literature. Um, were you aware of that? And what was the biggest obstacle for you doing the movie? Well, if you make a film about literary New York in 1990s, you know that uh, 90% of the world audience is out. Exactly. It's, they're out. I mean, I'm, it's, it's, it's sad, but it's that. So then I have to ask myself, is it worth making that? Well, there's probably thousands of people, maybe millions of people around the world that are interested in books and literature and the power of words mm -hmm. and how things have changed. So you, you have to focus on that and say, and you also have to focus on your own desire to tell that story. But apart from that, the literary world is a canvas. I mean, this young woman could be working in another field completely and have other aspirations. So it's, I think, more about when you're young and you have aspirations but no, don't know how to like achieve them, and you have a mentor that's kind of tough but interesting at the same time, and you want to bend the rules uh, if you want to go ahead, uh, but you don't know how to bend those rules. I think most of us have went through that, mm -hmm. and in that sense, it can be a more universal uh, film. If we just say it's a film about books, of course it's not going to interest a lot of people, but I don't yeah. think it's just about books. No, it's not. And it's also about you have this wonderful women character. You know, you have Sigourney and you have Margaret. And I think Margaret is like, wow, you really like to look at her. You, you're interested in her and she draws She's you in. Compelling, compelling, yeah. Very compelling uh, young lady and so talented. And Joanna told me yesterday at the red carpet, it was her first choice. And did you agree immediately or did you suggest her? Uh, uh, Joanna Rakoff, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't know uh, who she had in mind. What she asked me was, do not choose an actress that's 30 years old to play at 23 years old. And I agreed with that. There's a big difference. Okay. And the temptation could have been there to use an established star that was a bit older to play a younger woman. And we agreed that she had to be 23. So I saw Margaret Qualley in The Novitiate, and then I saw her in a Spike Joan Kenzo ad where she dances like hell and thought, oh, wow, this is the same actress, I want to meet her. And, and then it, I connected with her, and I think she connected with the material. So when I spoke to Joanna Rakoff and say, Margaret Qualley said yes, Joanna was like ecstatic because she, it was, yes, in her mind, she was perfect to play the role. Yeah, absolutely. And then t together with Sigourney, I mean, she's such a champ. I mean, you like to look at her every time she's in, you know, on screen, you just love her. And she's a legend and you're a fairly young director. So how was it for you working with her? It's funny because when I met her, I was starstruck uh, and I don't usually get starstruck. <laughs> But now I was, and I just babbled, and it was in New York, it was on my birthday, and I just told her, you know what, I'm missing my surprise birthday party in Montreal just to come and see you today. That's the first thing I said to Sigourney Weaver, and she said, oh, I'm so sorry, Philip, that you're missing your birthday. No, no, that's, that's great, you're my, the greatest birthday <laughs> gift a director could think of. Uh, and, and, uh, but after that, you start talking, you start working, and, and, and she's an actress, and, and we speak the same language. Uh, I was just very fortunate to, to, to have this woman who had the right charisma, the right panache to, to play that woman because she could have played it very cold, very hard uh, and, and, and not create this kind of arc of her own. And I think she does a beautiful job at going, you know, starting from hard and, and seemingly cold to someone who has emotion and see herself as a young woman in true Joanna. I always saw that in her, even in the beginning when you say like she's kind of hard and disciplined, I always, it always shines through that there is more, you know, she can do these layers yes. so effortlessly and this makes a good actress of course. Yes. Last question, we are in Berlin. How was the premiere for you last night? Were you super nervous and... 
It's funny, I was more nervous in Montreal two weeks prior to the premiere, and once I got here, I just, I just relaxed and said, just go along for the ride, because the red carpet is fun, it's not something that's serious, it cannot be taken seriously. I think cinema and the projection, that was the main event, um, and, and we enjoyed ourselves, I think, and also Margaret Qualley uh, discovered the film for the first time. It's very rare nowadays, because of the digital age, normally the, the actors see the film on their computer first, and then, mm. so she saw it the old style at the premiere, and I, I enjoyed that very much, and very grateful for Beryl and Al to, to choose our film for their, their opening. Thank you so much, have fun today in this nice dark room. <laughs> <laughs>